I'm Jennifer Morell. I've been a local election official uh, for eight years in both Utah and Colorado. Uh, I left that in 2018 to head the Democracy, Democracy Fund's election validation project uh, focused on audit standards and testing. And now I'm also a partner at the elections group. That's the question I get a lot is how are voters going to know and are they going to use them? Once you've thought through the process of, of purchasing them and installing them and staffing them and branding them and, and you've got your procedures down, um, informing the public is going to be probably the most critical thing that you do both in building trust and confidence. Um, and also providing that service, really thinking about how to get the word out uh, within your community with whatever resources you have. So utilizing everything that's available to you, talking to uh, civic groups in your community, making sure that information about that ballot drop box is available in all the printed material that you might send to a voter. Um, it's available on your website, that you uh, try to uh, advertise those on social media. If you haven't cited them already, and you are thinking about uh, where to put those and, and how to make sure that you're putting them in a place that voters are gonna use those, thinking about um, locations or areas that are already community gathering places, um, citizens um, are likely to be coming um, to or from or parking, so that might be a civic center, a library, a recreation center, uh, recognizing that a lot of those places probably are closed or could be closed because of COVID, but it doesn't mean that they're any less recognizable.